Hello and welcome everyone, this is Budcast, and I'm Steve Bud here, and uh, this is the debut of my Company of Heroes 2 series uh, for my Budcast uh, channel. I'm really uh, excited to get into this new game, Company of Heroes 2, it just came out not that long ago. Um, uh, allow me to introduce myself a little bit, well, as I said, uh, my name is Steve Budd. Um, I am a company, or uh, a Dawn of War 2 uh, player and shoutcaster. I've been playing that game pretty much uh, since it was in beta, which I think was 2010, maybe? So it was a couple years ago. Uh, maybe it was 2009, I can't really remember. But um, I got into that game, I played it a lot, and I started casting, so... Uh, and that game is pretty similar to uh, to Company of Heroes 2, so I'm, I'm looking to transfer my casting and gaming skills from that game to this one. So I'm really excited to uh, get into a brand new game. Company of Heroes 2 is really fun. I've been playing it uh, since uh, closed beta, I guess. Um, yeah, so I've been really I've been practicing a lot, and I've been uh, trying to learn a bunch of stuff so I can cast it and be uh, entertaining enough so you guys actually enjoy watching. So, uh, yeah, I... Today I got um I got this 1v1 here on Minsk Pocket between only Farto Israel here on the bottom uh, as the Germans versus XT on the top as the Soviets. So uh, let's get this this uh, game going. It looks like uh, looks like Farto is going to go for his tier one building right off the bat. I mean he is Germans. It's pretty much the standard. Uh, for 1v1 play here, just go that and probably get a Grenadier. Yeah, he's going to go for a quick Grenadier squad, so not really much um, uh, deviation from the standard German play here from Farto. Um, but looks like XT, he is going to go straight for this kind of uh, auxiliary node here. Instead of straight for the, the fuel point. Uh, but that's okay, because he's got to cap that first to even get the fuel point. And it looks like he is going to go for the Conscript Squad as his first choice. Um, which is still pretty standard Soviet play. So not really much deviation from standard builds from either player. Um, XT is going to go for a second Conscript Squad himself. And he is now going for the uh, for the field node with his Combat Engineers. Uh, looks like he's actually going to send his um, Conscript Squads over here to the right. I guess this is, I think I would consider it, the top's natural. Um, I think you can kind of tell what's natural um, due to the way like kind of the nodes line up and uh, kind of what you have to capture to cut them off and stuff. So I, uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure that this right side here is the top's natural and the left. Uh, sorry, I think the right is the uh, the bottom's natural and the left is the top's natural. Um, looks like XT did manage to build some barbed wire here on the fuel point, which might... Uh, it might snare up uh, Farto, maybe in the future. We'll see if that happens. Looks like Farto, let's see what he's doing. Looks like he did manage, he did pick the uh, MG42 for his second squad, so he's going to be able to back up uh, his Grenadiers or his uh, Pioneers in whatever engagement they get into um, in the beginning stage of the game. Uh, MG42 is really good choice just for that, that you can really... Um, make the beginning engagements really go in your favor as German, so good choice from him. Um, looks like he got a second Grenadier, so he has standard two Grenadiers and one MG42 right now. He can see this Conscript Squad on the mini-map, or capping. He can't tell that it's a Conscript Squad, but... So he sets up his MG42 to hopefully shoot at something here, coming through this little uh, passageway. But it looks like his Pioneer Squad is going to actually see the Conscript Squad, so he's going to have to move his Pioneer Squad off the field, the or just away, I guess, for now. Pioneer Squad, obviously, is one of the worst squads here in the beginning stage of the game for engagement, so he's going to have to be careful with that. Mostly, you just try to avoid the enemy with your Pioneer Squad, so... Let's see, he is moving the MG42 up, so hopefully uh, Farto can actually manage to push off that Conscript Squad... Looks like he's just out of line of sight here in the fog of war, but that uh, Pioneer Squad actually managed to uncover it, so he is going to get shot at by the MG42 and pushed off the field. So if only Farto Israel is going to, looks like he's uncontested now as far as capping this right side of the field, so he is going to have uh, his, munitions, his munitions point capped uh, before XT, but XT is now, um, he's 
there's no really op there's no opposition here on the left side of the map, so he is gonna cap um, his natural uh, munitions point and all these other points over here on the left side of the map, uh, uncontested. The conscript squad might even go so far as to uh, flank over here and cut off something here from Farto if he is really uncontested for that long. Um, looks like XT went for a penal battalion instead of a third conscript squad, which is um, actually a pretty good idea. I mean, Farto did go to uh, MG42s, looks like. Yeah, he did go to MG42s, so having that ability to uh, get behind your enemy and really throw that satchel charge and harass with the flamethrower is going to be a really potentially devastating uh, unit comp uh, from XT. He's going to put that penal battalion in the scout car, and hopefully that scout car can survive long enough to be super, super annoying to uh, Farto's MG42s. And I guess a scout car and flamethrower is a really, really good um, comp to uh, deal with uh, MG42s in general because they take so long to to uh, de set up from their uh, dug in positions, basically, and they they're really vulnerable to flamethrowers and cars. And it looks like conscript squad just manages to cap that point, so he's going to push. Looks like with both of these units down here into Farto's back line. Looks like that MG42 is in the building for Farto, and looks like he is going to get that pin down there on the conscript, so the conscript is going to have to get off the field, um, leaving Farto really uncontested here at the top right. He might even push with this Grenadier to possibly uncap XT's fuel point there, but uh, looks like XT is going to go in with his conscript squad to uncap uh, um, Farto's fuel, possibly. Depends what he does with these two squads, really. But this uh, scout car is going in with that penal battalion to kind of go uh, flank, possibly, this building, maybe this other MG42. Uh, but it looks like, ooh, the scout car comes out for Farto, so let's see if he's upgrading it. Oh, he... Uh, yeah, he looks like he is spending 70 munitions to upgrade, so it is going to be a scout car uh, hard counter here in a second, but XT might manage to just kite it away anyways. Uh, German scout car, I... Uh, in my experience, is really good against, obviously, the Russian scout car, but you don't really even need to upgrade it. It does quite a bit of damage um, just with that machine gun if you can chase it down for long enough. But when you do get that auto cannon up, it definitely kills it in, like, one volley. As we can see right now, uh, Farto does manage to, looks like, take out XT scout car, leaving his penal battalion uh, without transportation there, so his flanking ability is going to go... Uh, uh, it's really just going to be... He's not going to have flanking ability really that much. Uh, but XT, he did manage to uncap uh, Farto's fuel points, so he does he does manage to get off quite a bit of uh, resource harass here. Um, let's see. F Ooh, Farto actually managed uh, to get out of Panzer Grenadier, so he is tier 2 at this point. And uh, as of right now, it doesn't look like XT has any units to really counter that Panzer Grenadier. Um, the Penal Battalion does have the Flamethrower, and Flamethrowers do do quite a bit of damage to the Panzergren, uh, even in close range. Um, ooh, nice, nice uh, Force Retreat there on the MG42, just kind of surrounding it, looks like, uh, from XT. But yeah, he does have to worry about this Panzergren here. It is pretty deadly in the uh, kind of beginning stages of the game, when you don't have shock troops, you don't have uh, really like tanks to, to counter them or whatever. They're, they do quite a bit of damage in um, in close range, and it looks like Farto is going to send them into the fray here. Going to do quite a bit of damage here to this Conscript Squad. That Conscript Squad does have to be does have to be careful. The 222 is getting into range, but not really doing much damage. Might actually get anti-tank uh, grenaded there. Uh, looks like Conscripts are down to about a third HP. They do have to be careful, but that Panzergren is getting shot up with that Heal Battalion Flamethrower. Going down to one model, looks like, might even lose it. Farto has to be careful. He does retreat it. The last model is on fire. Uh, looks like he's taking dot damage, but it looks like he's going to actually make it out. Surprisingly enough, he's, surprisingly enough he is going to make it out. Uh, he is still leaving flaming footprints behind as he runs away. Uh, Farto does come out with a half-track, so he does have two vehicles out on the map here. Uh, kind of in the mid-early game still, but uh, XT is going to manage to get out the anti-tank grenade, snaring up the half-track, uh, which is definitely a nuisance as Farto only does have... Or, uh, let's see... Farto only has one engineer. Ooh, and the Pino Battalion does actually throw a, a satchel charge, and fumbling with the half-track micro, he does manage to lose 
both vehicles. He loses the 222 and he loses the half track. Really not a good play there uh, from Farto, but really good, really good use of the Sassel Charge and the 60 munitions from XT. So XT is at the advantage right now. He does have two VPs. He has a majority of map control, it looks like, at this point. He did manage to decap both of these nodes here. Um, kind of in Farto's back line, cutting off this munitions point, so it looks like he is ahead as far as munitions go, yes, and he is actually gonna, this is, I think this is the second time he's managed to uncap um, Farto's fuel point, so he okay. is ahead, I feel like, in this part of the, in this part of the game, but um, I think that Farto does have kind of an army advantage, even said, he does have three Grenadiers and a Panzergrenade, and so far, and, and XT might even lose this, this Conscript Squad, and it does go down to that Panzergrenade, which is now Veteran Level 1, so that that Panzergrenade is going to be quite uh, the deadly unit here uh, from Farto at this point. Nothing really on the field to counter it. Conscripts don't, I don't think they have, let's take a look at it. XT. He doesn't even have uh, Molotovs, which isn't surprising. A lot of players have been kind of avoiding that lately. It's not really that practical versus uh, super good players and in, in kind of the higher tiers of play. Uh, I, I guess that's the argument, but uh, he does manage to go. He went the uh, IS-2 uh, spec, I guess you would call it, the Doctrine, and did manage to get some uh, Shock Troops, which is a good which is a good counter here to the Panzergrenz. They are going to do quite a bit of damage, and they do have more armor, so they're going to be able to 1v1 the Panzergrenz if he manages to get into that kind of uh, position. But the Panzergrenz does have a single uh, single star, so he is out veteraning him, so Farto has to keep the veterancy up. Looks like XT is flanking the second MG42 in this building uh, with the Penal Battalion. We might see another um, Satchel. Looks like he's going to get off, get out of the building early enough to avoid it. Uh, but I'm still still worried about that MG42. He is down to half HP. He only has two models left, but, and they both go down, it looks like, the flamethrowers. Yeah, both go down. Penal Battalion actually gets the last hit off uh, from the building, so really bad uh, luck there for... Uh, for uh, Farto there with that MG42. Let's go back to his view. He did... Uh, looks like he's still in Tier 2. He hasn't... Um, he hasn't upgraded it to Battle Phase 2 yet. Uh, he did manage to get a Pack 40 just in case uh, XT decides to go some more Scout Car Harasser. Maybe a quick uh, SU-76 or 70 or... T-70 or something. But uh, I still think Farto has the army advantage at this point. <laughs> the... Shock Troop is going to, looks like, get a nade off there on the MG42, knocking one of its models out, but it looks like he did manage to get pinned down in the meantime, so that Shock Troop is going to have to get off the field. Um, if we look over here towards the middle of the map, XT looks like he's going to try to flank here, but he is going to run into the Panzergrenz. The Panzergrenz, uh, they upgraded Panzerstrike pretty early. There still isn't a vehicle on the field yet from XT. Actually, I think he just built one. Yeah, SU-85. He just built an SU-85, so he kind of uh, pre-countered it already, uh, Farto, but, uh, I, w I would have kind of suggested him to buy a second Panzergren and maybe upgrade the second one, because you want to keep your, uh, your veteran Panzergren, I, in my opinion, keep it without the Panzer Strikes, it just does so much damage to infantry, but he has to watch out for that Pioneer Squad, he is getting pretty low, he is behind two Flamethrower Squads, down to one model, he's probably going to lose it, but he does, definitely has to watch out for that Panzergren, it might go down as well. Uh, down to the two models with the two Panzer Grand, or Panzer Shreks, and he is going to have to retreat, get out of there with one model left. That one, oh, the Pioneer Squad does go down, so he's going to have to rebuild that Pioneer Squad. Looks like XT did steal that MG42, so he is going to actually manage to defend this top right point here. So he forces all of uh, Farto's uh, Grens off the field to go to go re up back at his base. Yes. It looks like XT is getting some map control back. He is actually going to, for a third time, uncap uh, this fuel node. So Farto is definitely behind as far as the fuel game goes, which is why we see this SU-85 already on the field. But uh, I probably would have recommended maybe a, a T-70 at this point, since he is pretty far ahead. Um, I mean, he knew he was far ahead when he killed both of the vehicles, the 222 and the uh, and the half-track with a single uh, satchel charge from the Penal Battalion. 
So I, I would definitely would have recommended going to T70 and just out microing your opponent and keeping that advantage. The SU-85 is really awesome. It's one of the best units that the Russians have right now. Uh, but I mean, you have to have vehicles on the field for it to counter, but... Uh, he's working up to that Soviet death ball. He just looks like he got out of SU-76, so he is going to do quite a bit of damage here if he can keep kind of a kind of a blob going on here in the middle. Um, if Farto does decide to blob up, he's, he does have that awesome barrage ability. Um, so I think that, I think uh, X XT is definitely uh, in a good spot right now. He does have both fuel fuel nodes, but he doesn't have both of these munition. Knows. It looks like he is going to count, or he's going to flank this MG42 with the conscript squad. Um, I don't think he he still doesn't have Molotov, so. Um, but I mean, I guess at this point he doesn't really have to worry about those MG42s anymore. Uh, Molotovs would have been good, um, but it's at, at a point in the game where that doesn't really matter right now. Ooh, Panzergrens are getting in a position where they are going to be able to get a couple shots off on this SU-76. He's going to barrage, hopefully get a good uh, crit here on the Panzer Grenadiers, but. They just move out of the way. Su-85 actually kills the model, but the third, the third rocket launch takes out the Su-76. Not really doing much on the field at all. So uh, really good play there by uh, by Farto. Uh, that's the kind of thing you have to do to really make up for his uh, his play there in the early stages of Tier One. So definitely, definitely what he needs to be doing. Actually getting picks here. So good for Farto. Looks like he has his MG42 set up. He is going to force off this uh, conscript. Ready. He definitely needs to get um, to get this munitions point back, but he does have the left one as well, and as well as his VP. Um, it looks like Farto is quite a bit ahead on VPs. Um, but X X XT has been focusing mainly on uh, denying Farto a lot of fuel, so uh, definitely kind of a good trade-off. I mean, at the beginning of the stages of the game, you don't really need VPs that often. You just need to you seem to keep kind of an eye on it, you know, be aware of VP. It's not so important as as fuel is in the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, the SU-85 is getting into range. He does do some damage to the infantry. I know it feels like he does a lot more than he actually does. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> as a German player myself, it feels like he does a lot more infantry. When he does get the, veterans, the veteran upgrade... Um, it, it actually does do quite a bit of damage when he's a veteran, like three or something. Let's see. Looks like um, looks like Farto is gonna go tier three here. So he is. Looks like. Let's see how much resources he has. He, whoa, he's floating a lot. So he's gonna get a Panzer four out. Uh, my guess pretty soon. It looks like that Panzer gun is gonna maybe get in range for the bundle grenade. Looks like he's getting tied up in that uh, shock shoot grenade. It is probably gonna force him out. Uh, but that Panzergrand is now a uh, double start, so he is going to do quite a bit of damage here to that medium tank destroyer if he can get in range. It looks like this uh, Grenadier squad is down to one model, and he is going to have to get out of there. Uh, XT is recapping the left side of the field here, but he is losing his natural fuel points. So both players have kind of been uh, rotating between having control of all the fuel and all the munitions. So kind of interesting. I'm not really sure who's ahead as far as. Um, resources go at this point. Um, but yeah, it looks like Farto is going to go for the uh, the Panzer IV for his Tier 3 pick. Let's see if XT is building anything. Looks like he is going for a second tank destroyer, so this is kind of the standard Russian, like, death ball with the two, uh, with the two tank destroyers. He does, he does still have one shock troop, but it's still not veteraned up. But uh, there's not really much to counter him besides the MG42. Uh, from Farto. Um, I still would recommend getting just kind of vanilla Panzergrenz here from Farto. They just do so much damage to conscripts and shock troops. But he's actually been doing quite a good job with the MG42 forcing retreats. Um, he's been pretty aggressive with them, so I'm actually pretty happy to see him use those uh, to great effect. I'm not really good at using MG42s that much besides just super defensively. But he is going to move this Panzer IV up here on the right. Uh, SU-85 is still looking at the middle here at the VP, so I don't know if, if Farto is going to be super aggressive with his Panzer IV or not. Uh, XT looks like he has his second SU-85 coming in to back his first one up, and he's going to have quite a bit of map presence here in the, in the middle of the map here. 
Um, he even managed to cap this left side of the field, and that MG42 is setting up, but it looks like the combat engineer is just going to barely get out of range here. Uh, but XT has his own MG42 set up here in the middle with his conscripts, capping the middle point, and just having two SU-85s is such a, such a dangerous unit com. I mean, any German player knows that it's just really tough nut to crack, basically. But he does have a, t a two-star Panzergren, so if he can run up, force this uh, MG42 off the field and just chase these SU-85s, he actually has a good chance of taking one out, uh, at least one or something. Looks like Penal Battalion is getting in. Ooh, it looks like a global. It's going to be the uh, incendiary incendiary barrage, but looks like it's going to hit nothing, so kind of a waste. He did manage to force off that squad, though, so he is going to um, He's gonna keep map control here on the left for sure. Looks like these Panzergrens are going in, and they are upgraded right behind this SU-85. Going to get two volleys off, or a single volley off. Um, this MG-42 still isn't looking here, and the Panzer IV is going to chase it, it looks like. But I guess he just uh, noticed the second one, so he is actually not going to be too aggressive there. And back out the Panzer IV. Uh, I think that's definitely a good idea. You don't want to lose a Panzer IV this early. But the Panzer Guns definitely needs to get a couple more shots off here. He needs to focus and keep keep uh, shooting up the same same SU-85. It looks like the Panzer Guns are down quite a bit, down to about a third HP. They need to get out of there before they go down. Grenadier Squad hopefully gets off a of Panzer Foss, slow that SU-85 down so that Panzer IV can get out of there. Uh, Conscripts might get the AT grenade. They do get the AT grenade off, so the SU-85 has a chance to chase it. But that that grenadier, he's, he needs the Panzerfaust. Yeah, okay. So, so both vehicles here are now snared up, so they can't really chase each other that much. So it looks like no one's really going to lose that much. Uh, Farto does have this Pack 40 here. Actually moved up in quite a uh, a good position, but that Conscript is, I think, might might prove to be too much. He wants to move that pack four, uh, pack forty up far, th uh, far enough to actually do some damage there. Managed, he, uh, looks like he managed to take out actually a conscript squad. Uh, looks like XT actually picks picked up a Panzerfaust or uh, Panzer Shrek uh, from that Panzergren. Actually, I think the Panzergrens went down. A uh, really good, really good play there from XT. I guess I didn't notice it on retreat. The Panzergrens must have gone down, um, which is a huge loss for Far. So a double star Panzergrens that were upgraded. Um, especially when XT is kind of spamming SU-85s, uh, so not a good, not a good move there. Looks like XT is managed. He's gonna go. He's gonna try and counter uh, the Panzergrenz and all these MG-42s and Pack 40s. Uh, so in the mid game here, he went. I guess his build is two, two tank destroyers and a couple snipers. So he's just gonna hotkey both of those guys together and just kind of walk them around the around the map. Which is going to be really devastating here against uh, Farto. When it looks like he even got a, uh, a KV-8. So he has the flamethrower tank. And he's going to be able to uh, pretty much just melt any uh, infantry squad that comes in contact with that uh, that tank. Uh, looks like Farto did manage to get a second Panzer... Uh, sorry, second Panzer IV out. Looks like his MG42 is gonna have to get out of there. It did get actually finished off by the dual sniper squads there. That Panzer IV is probably gonna finish off that MG42 from XT. Uh, but XT still didn't lose any SU85s, but they're so low at this point where they're not gonna really do that much in a fight. So we're kinda have to, as far as XT goes, he needs to kinda back off and, uh, and repair his vehicles. Looks like Farto is kind of setting up here for an engagement in mid. I would definitely recommend him um, splitting up his Panzer IVs to hopefully get a flank and possibly kill something. I mean, he doesn't have... he can't be everywhere at the same time, XT, but looks like XT is gonna... Looks like he's going pretty deep here with this KV-8 here on the right. Uh, <laughs> the shock troops with the Panzer Shrek is kind of running in. Maybe get a... A shot off or not? Ooh, and a nice incendiary uh, barrage coming in right on the stack of Farto's units. Uh, looks like he's going to get a master retreat off from him. That's really good uh, for him. That the Panzer IV is not going to be able to get um, get repaired, so he's still going to be uh, snared up. Uh, that KV-8 is, is probably going to go deep and actually go into uh, into the base here and hopefully get some kills off. But uh, he does have to worry about both of these uh, Panzer IVs that are going to do uh, quite a bit of damage to that KV-8. Especially if it stops, keep going, buddy! 
Uh, KVA needs to keep going and hide behind these buildings. Uh, keep going. Yeah, the buildings actually block line of sight from the Panzer IVs. So if we can just kind of keep uh, just going around these buildings, he can survive for quite a long time. The Panzer IV is, as you can see, not shooting at it. Just keep going. He is doing so much damage. That KV-8 is up to nine kills. He got, looks like, I think he got two squads. Yeah, two or three? A couple. But uh, KV-8 is finally going down. And Farto is down to three infantry squads. Just one Grenadier, a one MG-42, and a Pac-40. But he still has, he does have three Panzer IVs um, at this point. And one of which is about half HP and snared up. Um... And he does have this pack 40. Uh, looks like X. Let's look at XTs right now. Uh, he still does have two, two SU-85s and the shock troop uh, with the uh, the looted rocket launcher. So uh, quite a good engagement there for XT. He managed to wipe a lot of squads there, but still he's really he needs to take out one of these Panzer IVs like. If he can, if uh, if Farto can manage to repair them, he's gonna be able to do quite a bit of damage. Um, but, but XT does have the, the Russian death ball here in the middle point. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, shock troops are probably gonna have to retreat here. In just a second, double uh, double vet grenadiers are gonna do quite a bit of damage to them. Looks like these medium tanks. Uh, only one is full at HP at this point, so uh, Farto is gonna be quite on the run. As far as map control goes, he's not going to be able to really do much. XT has how many, how many squads do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's like 7 squads compared to Farto's, uh, like 5. Um, let's see. Panzer 4 is actually going in pretty deep here. Um, making both the SU-85s kind of back off. Looks like this other one, this, this Panzer 4 is getting pretty low, down to about one more hit left. Uh, third. Third Panzer IV is kind of off here on the right. Sniper is in a quite a difficult position here. Uh, second Sniper might actually go down, down to one model. Uh, Panzer IV misses its shot. Uh, XT might forget about uh, No, he didn't forget about it. Uh, both SU-85s are super low. The, the Panzer IV rush did do quite a bit of damage, surprisingly. Uh, ooh, and the SU-85 missed its last shot there on the Panzer IV. Um, so both players are... They, it looks like they didn't lose much of anything, they just lost a lot of health on their units. And X, XT is coming out with a second KVA, he just loves these KVAs, he's gonna try to uh, kill some retreating units here uh, from Farto, but Farto really doesn't have that many really uh, important squads here to take out. Maybe the Pack 40 if he can flank it um, and do a bit of damage here, but all three of these uh, Panzer IVs are stacking up um, to get repaired by the two two Pioneer squads. So maybe he'll be distracted long enough to lose both these squads. KV-8 is coming in on the MG-42. Probably is going to get the kill on it. One model left. Pack 40 is bailing. He's running away. If he can get it and kind of just kite around his base then, uh, it's going to be pretty good. See, KV-8 is going deep, but not really that much here. Incendiary, uh, looks like... I think it's Incendiary coming down again. From XT, yeah, he's gonna incinerate, but not really much to take out again. He got a single squad, I'm not sure what it was. That KV-8 is, looks like he's gonna get taken out here by the two Panzer IV uh, tanks here. Uh, at this point, though, XT does have two almost full health SU-85s, one of which is actually a veteran, so it's gonna do quite, quite a bit more damage. Um... He could actually just charge his uh, uh, Farto's base at this point and take out two tanks in a matter of seconds. Uh, Farto is in a quite a difficult position here. He has almost no map control left. He is losing his natural fuel point. He is in quite a difficult spot here. Uh, XT has so much more income uh, and a lot stronger of a comp at this point. He still has both snipers, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage to any infantry. Let's see, what are what are they? What kind of kills are they looking at here? One has three kills, and the other only has eight. So, uh, snipers maybe could be a little bit more effective at this point. He's had them out for quite a while, but uh, this is some crucial time that Farto is kind of uh, just getting for himself, kind of for free. 
Uh, XT is kind of using this time to... to looks like he did lay a mine. Um, yeah, but he needs to really get all of map control if he's going to kind of just... Uh, just have this lull in the fighting. He did get another uh, another penal battalion. I don't know if that's really the greatest pick at this point. Kind of almost a waste of wreck. I would rather get something else. Maybe a second shock troop. Or just another SU-85. Or maybe, you know what? I'd, I'd actually probably go with T-34. Um, you you kind of want to have a T-34 in your comp when you're going against a bunch of Panzer IVs. Just so you can ram the veteran one and just take it out of the game. Um, or take it out of the engagement since it does so much more damage than the normal Panzer IVs. And it has the the Blitz ability. I think, I think I don't know if that's all Doctrines or not. Um... I think that, I think it is all doctrines. You get the blitz ability, and that that one Panzer IV does quite a bit of damage, and is quite maneuverable. So XT is going to take advantage of this time and use the snipers. Looks like he there's another Panzer Gren on the field, and he is upgraded with two uh, with two rocket launchers. That sniper is getting a little bit too close. One model goes goes down, but she manages to invis for just a second, get a shot off, and that MC42 backing her up is going to. Uh, Force that Panzergren off the field. So uh, another engagement here, won by XT, and he is in quite a good position here. But all three of these Panzer IVs are rolling out here. It looks like um, Farto isn't going to split them up at all. It's like he's just going to go deep with them here on the right, um, just kind of avoid the middle altogether, which is a uh, exactly what I would do. Obviously, two SU-85s just would really just tear up these three tanks. Um, if he can use that Pack 40 maybe to bait the SU-85s, uh, maybe he can get a good pick on one. Looks like another barrage coming in, just missing. Kind of a waste of munitions, but he does... Eh, no, he doesn't really have that much. Uh, MG-42 is going to go down, it looks like here. And possibly the Sniper as well. It's going to be actually a pretty good pick. Uh, a couple picks here from Farto. Looks like Sniper runs into the tank. She might go, Yeah, she does go down. So, uh, XT is down to, uh, one, two, three, four, to five squads. Uh, five capable squads, at least. But that SU-85 did manage to turn around, and is now threatening those three Panzer IVs. Um, yeah, I mean, I would definitely recommend, it was very nice that, uh, that Farto managed to pick off two squads, but you want to definitely, um, if you're trying to assault, like, the middle with two SU-85s, you want to split up those Panzer IVs. Uh, just try to try to flank and get into close range and just do quite a bit of damage. Because um, those SU-85s don't have a turret, so they actually have to manually turn it around. And it takes a while, so the Panzer IVs definitely have an advantage in close range. Uh, looks like Sniper, the second Sniper is going to get into range to do some damage here to the Panzer Grands. Panzer Grands do manage to get off a rocket or two here. But they are, they are unsupported, so they are going to have to get off the field. Uh, if those Panzer IVs were in a better position, that might have been a good engagement there from uh, Farto. But right now, XT is still sitting pretty, pretty good here on map control. But uh, it looks like uh, Farto is does have quite a bit of a force here. He now has four Panzer IVs. Um, for two SU-85s, all he needs to do is just bum rush them, ba basically. And there's not, there's not too much XT can do about it. Looks like he is gonna get uh, XT is gonna get a Katusha, which I do not think is a good choice at this point. Uh, Faro doesn't have that many infantry squads on the field. Um, it's definitely just a matter of these Panzer IVs coming in from the left at this point. Both SU-85s pushed up fairly far and pointed the wrong direction. XT definitely has to turn them around. Hopefully get a anti-tank grenade off, but he doesn't even have a conscript squad to do that. Sniper squad might go down in the initial stage of this engagement. Uh, looks like he gets away with it. Uh, Sniper might get away. Panzer, one of the Panzer IVs is upgraded to two stars. Uh, both the SU-85s are turned around, so they are going to be able to do quite a bit of damage here. But the Panzer IVs just ran around this corner, baiting one of the SU-85s into close range. All he needs to do is just run up, just, just go. If he just is aggressive right now, he can surround these SU-85s and take them both out. He needs to make his move, and he's going in right now. This is a decisive engagement here. Uh, the vet Panzer IV is pretty low, though. Katusha is going to volley them, but they're not going to do that much. And a third pan or a third SU-85 is going to back up. This might be really bad from Zarto. Looks like the global's coming down. One Panzer IV goes down. The second one's about to go down. 
looks like that one SU-85 is going to go down to the Panzer IVs. <laughs> two to, looks like two to one. Two to one, the SU-85 is in a good position to take out the veteran if he can do it. Panzer Grenons are in range though to add their extra DPS. SU-85 is shooting at the wrong Panzer IV and needs to take him out. One more volley, <laughs> just one more. Just backing up, Panzer Grenons are going to, it's still in range, takes out the vet. Wow. Ooh, and he didn't actually destroy the tank, so he is still on the field. Um, Farto does have an opportunity to actually jack the SU-85, uh, which is pretty rare. That MG-42 might actually go down here as well. And it looks like another KV-8 is coming out from XT. Uh, Zart, or Farto did manage to lose almost every single one of his tanks. Uh, so I am pretty concerned here from Farto at the moment. He doesn't have that much left. He does have quite a bit of uh, infantry squads, but if he can manage to take out that Panzer IV and just, uh, just rush that KV-8, he's going to manage to take out almost all those squads. The Panzer IV is chasing the KV-8 pretty hard. That KV-8 is probably just going to get taken out. Uh, not a good use of that KV-8. It really wasn't going to be able to do much. Taking this Pack 4 down pretty low, the Global might come in and actually take it out. And the Pack 40 goes down. <laughs> Same with the KV-8. Uh, really eventful. Uh, kind of later stages of the game here. I can't. <laughs> oh, my throat is so dry. Ah, oh, man. Uh, Sniper Squad is still alive here. It looks like he has about eight kills. But not too many. It might go down actually to this Panzer IV. Yeah, it just gets one hit there. So taking that out, XT is actually only down. He is so in a bad position. Uh, Farto really turned it around uh, with that last engagement. Farto is down to a single penal battalion squad <laughs> and a Katusha. I am really actually kind of impressed here by, from Farto. Using that uh, the satchel charge, unfortunately, didn't hit this uh, Panzer IV, which is now uh, it's the second veteran two Panzer IV I've seen in this game. Uh, SU-85 is still up. I definitely recommend um, Farto trying to cap it at this point. He definitely has uh, the uh, infantry superiority, superiority, so he could definitely grab that. Yeah, that Katusha I definitely think has not been that great of a choice um, at this point. I mean, he definitely had four Panzer IVs out at the same time. Katusha really doesn't do much against that. Uh, but yeah, no SU-85s on the field here uh, from XT at this point, which is definitely, you uh, you definitely need to have them out. They're one of the best units that, that Russia has at this point. Uh, so uh, Zarto, or Farto, <laughs> Zarto, Farto is rocking still a Panzer IV. Double vet, you should repair it up, get it ready for another engagement. Ooh, it looks like XT is going to actually... Uh, Re reman that SU-85, back it up, hopefully get it out of range long enough to repair it. I don't even know if he has any combat. Yeah, he does have one combat engineer still. So he is going to be able to repair that after a while. Uh, it did not manage to retain its veterancy. I'm not sure if it had a star or not. Um, but yeah, that Panzer IV is going to do quite a bit of damage here in the next big engagement. Let's see. Uh, XT is going to build a second tank destroyer. Um, it really does come down to how well the Russian player can like respond to the aggressive German player with those SU-85s. Um, the last, the last uh, SU-85 engagement was definitely not played as well as it could have been by XT, for sure. He kind of got baited around that corner. Uh, if he would have just played a little bit more passively, it would have worked out a lot better for him, since... Uh, since Farto did clump up all of his tanks, he didn't split any of them up or try to flank too hard or anything like that. So we're in kind of a lull right now in the later stages of the game. Um, looks like he's getting... Yeah, he, he did manage to get the second tank destroyer, and he did actually get a uh, scout car out, so he's going to try to maybe do some uh, some quick flanking maneuvers with that uh, conscript. Katusha is going to get some volleys off, going to take out a couple models there from that NG-42. He is down to one last model. Might actually go down. Took almost a direct hit there from the Katusha. Uh, but the last volley does go without killing him. Uh, Pack 40 is set up uh, in quite a good spot, just in case there's any aggression here from XT. Uh, that Panzer IV is moving up on the left. 
Looks like it hit a landmine, actually. Pretty good placement for a mine there. It's going to snare up that Panzer IV, so we can't be that aggressive. Probably is not going to contest this fuel cache for uh, quite a quite a bit of time. Uh, looks like XT still has... Looks like he's... Yeah, he, he's floating 380, 67, so he's not going to have another tank destroyer for a minute. But I don't even know if that would be that great of an idea. He needs to get... Um, I would definitely recommend maybe some more um, some more shock troops for sure. Um, just they they do so much damage to uh, to the infantry, especially Farto has quite a bit. He does have the Panzer Shreks, the Panzer, Panzer Grenadiers with the Shreks, and he has two Grenadiers and three Pioneers left, and he still has an MG42. So he has quite a bit of infantry and only one vehicle. Spamming Su85s at this point really isn't going to do that much for you. Uh, looks like. Global does come down in Cindery Barrage, but it doesn't manage to hit anything. Um, he does manage to keep him from uncapping that, which isn't really going to do much. That SU-85 looks like he's kind of stuck in the bushes over here. Yeah, I think he might want to contest or fight, fight these Grenadiers over here on the left. Uh, but I guess he just knew that the uh, Panzer IV was over there, so he wanted to put him in uh, kind of a good position. Looks like we have the Panzer Grenadiers kind of going commando here. Might actually get in range of this Katusha, but it looks like XT is going to move it out of range just in the nick of time. Uh, just a couple seconds longer, that Panzer Grenadier would have taken out uh, that Katusha, probably in volley. It's already at half health, so good, good looking out there from XT. He does have the tank destroyer on the right. Looks like he took out a model of that Grenadier three star now, so it's going to do quite a bit of damage. With that MG42 upgrade, he might get a Panzer Faust off. He definitely needs to try. And that Panzer Faust versus the uh, SU85 does quite a bit. Um, it makes it super vulnerable to the uh, to the Panzer IV. Going down to one model, that uh, scout car with the Conscript Squad is going to get in its flank. Might even take out the squad. It's going to be a big loss for Farto. He manages to lose that squad. But that one model left. Still doing quite a bit to that scout car. He is going to retreat it, though. Uh, MG42 is going to... I guess he's just shooting at the uh, SU-85. Not really doing that much. Over here on the left side of the field, looks like Farto did manage to cap all three VPs. So VPs are ticking quite uh, quite heavily here in Farto's favor. It's 159 Farto uh, to 49 XT. But, uh, yeah. I'm still kind of waiting for a decisive engagement here. Uh, Farto is getting now a second uh, Panzer IV, so he is going to be able to to do quite a bit of damage here versus these SU-85s, uh, if he can maneuver them right. Uh, the second one might even get a third Veteran Star here pretty soon. So it's going to be able to take quite a bit of damage and do quite a bit itself here to both those SU-85s. SU-85 is moving in here to do some damage here. Possibly force to retreat. Hopefully doesn't get the Fost off. So gonna get the Foss off. I mean, that combat engineer is right there. He might. Looks like he's gonna get it off. Yeah. So unfortunately for XT, he did get the Foss off. Construct squad is gonna get out of there. Looks like the scout car went, did go down uh, to the Panzer IV, but the Panzer IV himself did get anti tank grenade, so he needs to get repaired himself. <laughs> oh, and ten points left, just ticking down here from XT. He only has one squad on the VPs. I think this is going to be it for XT. Uh, I'm quite impressed. Um, Farto was... Wow. Yeah, he definitely he won it. Uh, Farto was um, quite a bit behind there in the mid-stages of the game. He had quite a bit of Panzer IVs, but those SU-85s at the beginning were kind of too much for him to handle. Um, he lost his Panzer uh, Grenadiers upgraded with, I think it was double veterancy, so it was a huge loss for him. There's nothing really on the field to count on the SU-85s. I feel XT maybe got a little bit too comfortable with his lead. He he definitely had an opportunity to actually push uh, Farto's base and take out um, a couple of those uh, Panzer IVs. There was like three of them on the field at the time, and two of them were below 50% health, and both of his... Uh, both of his SU-85s were, uh, I think, full health, so he definitely missed out on opportunity. He didn't capitalize on it enough, but really good game from both players. I was quite surprised to see the German player come back here, so good job. Only Farto is real. Um, XT is going to have to try again another time. 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been my first um, first cast for Company of Heroes 2, so I hope it was entertaining. Um, I'm going to try to get a bunch more out pretty soon. Um, so let me know if you guys like the cast in the comments and stuff. Uh, tell me what you think. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.